Hi. Hi. Listen, if Eden sent you, tell her I'll be in in a minute. I just wanted to get some air. Eden didn't send me. I saw you walk out here, and I wanted to make sure that you were okay. Fine. It must be difficult to walk in here to a party in full swing. Well, it just was a, it was an odd day for me, and I'm not really in a real sociable mood, so... Uh, shouldn't you be resting your leg? I'm being brave. Nathan likes me that way. I had back teeth clenched. I heard some people talking at the courtroom, and, uh, well, I didn't believe what they were saying. Doesn't take long for the news to get around, does it? Then it is true. If we're talking about the same news. I'm sorry. It's just so ridiculous, you know? It's so strange. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to be checking it out. Good. I think it's a disgrace. And I represent people at the Waterfront Business Association, and they are going to be really upset when they hear about this. They demanded to be heard, and they stated that if you didn't take a case that they were working on, that they were going to hire a private investigator. When? About a week ago, Friday, and the commissioner said that he would make this their priority, his priority, and that he would take care of it. Well, isn't that interesting? That's the exact opposite of what Boswell just told me. Exactly the opposite. Just so you know, I, I didn't say anything to anyone else. And I'm going to get Mason out of here early so you can be alone with Aiden. Did you tell her? No, I didn't tell her yet. She's going to think it's her fault that I was fired. Why would she think that? Because of all the time I took off trying to investigate Robert Barr and the strings I pulled, hoping to get the family business back. Not that it wasn't my choice, or that I wouldn't do it again, but... It's gonna be all right. It'll all work out. Aha! <laughs> you guys, dinner's ready, and uh, Mason's ready to tell us why he's dragged us all here. Oh, good. I better get him a glass of water and a handkerchief to mop his brow. Something tells me it's going to be a long speech. Listen, I know you're tired, but this won't take long, I promise. It's just some career coup of Mason's. He wants to share it with us. Sure. I'm cool. Okay. Let's go uh, hear his good news. All right. I'll help him celebrate. <laughs>